Hello YouTube, it's me again. Today I'm bringing you, well, I guess you could call it a New Year's Resolutions video. Because I am going to lay out some of my beauty and makeup goals for this year. Um, but I'm also going to be laying out some January goals as well. But, first I'm going to talk to you, and then we'll get into all the fun makeup goodies. Um, this is probably going to be a longer video, so if you want to go get a cup of coffee or tea, I've got one sitting over there. By all means, grab a cup of tea and join me. Actually, I'm going to go grab my cup of tea. Yeah, I've got stuff sitting all over, but you already knew that. Okay. So, last year, you'll know that my project pan was a bit of a bust. Um, I had only planned for it to be a six-month-long project pan, and it turned out into a year, and then I didn't even finish everything. Um, but I did learn some things from that project pan, and I found some new things I wanted to try. But um, as for goals for 2016, um, my overall goals is I'd like to finish up um, 10 face products, which can be anything from blushers, bronzers, to foundations, to primers, um, highlighters, concealer, dot, that sort of thing. Um, 10 eye products, which is eyebrow stuff, eyeshadow, eyeliner, etc., etc. Um, 10 lip products, um, you kind of get the idea now, um, 10, lo 10 body lotions, um, 10 scents, and then maybe 10 random miscellaneous things that just don't fit anywhere else, um, like hair care products or, um, I don't know, just random things. But I'll, I'll see if I actually do that one, because I'm not going to force myself to use up 10 really random products if I'm not if I don't have that many um, but that's sort of the overall general goal is to finish up 10 of each category and I will try to be updating this um, once a month at the beginning of every month um, that is the plan anyway and to use up all those things um, I want to do project pan again um, I do have, I, I want to do a regular Project 10 pan where I pick out 10 things and use those things um, and use up those things throughout the year. And I have done that. And I do have the products sitting over here. And they are right over here in this little basket. Um, but before I get into these things, um, one other thing I want to have happened with my makeup and beauty stuff this year is I want to. Um, I don't want to buy any an, um, products that are made by a company that tests on animals. So I want to use up those items from my makeup stash. So the majority of the things I have picked are from companies that test on animals. So we'll go with that. And that's where I want my Project Pan to be mostly focused. Um, but you'll see... I want to do another project pan this year, and you'll see how that one works in a minute. But first, we're going to go through the 10 products um, that I picked out that I want to use this year for myself. And we're going to start with the lip products. And you'll probably recognize these because I've mentioned these before. And these are my Avon lipsticks I tried to use up last year. And one I ended up having to depot and mix with a um, lip balm because it just was too... It was... Well, it needed it. Let's just put it that way. So there's those three. I'm still trying to use up those. Um, these are Avon Coordinates lipsticks. And this one is Coco Poco, which is a nice nude color. Exotic Lily is that um, bright reddish orangish that you'll see me wearing in a lot of my videos. And then this one, let's see, is Apricot Breeze. And this basically makes my lips look like they're part of my face. They just yeah, they just, it's a true nude, I mean, it, I'm not going to show you, but it basically washes them completely out, so you think I'm not, don't have any lips, it's like, it's just, my face keeps going. <laughs> I know that's kind of strange to say, but, um, 
Okay, and then the rest of this stuff is mostly eye products. I do have one bonus product, product in here as well, but we'll start with the eyeshadow. And I've got this Arabella Stewart Petal Soft Trio Eyeshadow, and this is in Royal Damask. And, oh goodness, I still have the sponge applicators in here. But this is kind of messy. Um, it, this looks like this. It's a very purpley pinky eyeshadow. Um, it's got a dark purple, a light, well, a, it's almost a dark burgundy, and then a light purple, and then a pink. And I've already, I've already used this some, but I've not hit pan on it yet. So that's going to be one of the things I'm working up, going to be working on. Um, last year I tried a 12 shadow palette and that didn't work out as well as I thought. So I figured maybe I try a, a trio and see how I go. So I'm trying to work within my limits. Um, I do have one more eyeshadow in here and it was part of an eyeshadow duo. Um, it is the Rubigo eyeshadow duo shimmering silver and golden nugget, but golden nugget is completely used up and gone. And so it's, it's only um, shimmering silver that's left. And that's this one over here. And I'm figuring that I can use this in conjunction with some other eyeshadow products. Um, if I happen to end up with some from my other project pan that I can use it with, then great. Um, if not, I can use it with my um, MUA palette that I did not finish last year. So um, this is just sort of a companion shadow at, at this point. So there's that one. Um, I've got some eye bases here, and this is my one silver eye base, and this is an all about face jumbo shadow stick, and that's just a silver. Um, this has been pretty beat up. This actually, when I tried, I went, well, <laughs> it came home from England with me, and it did not travel well, but that's what I've got in here. So I figured I could use it as a base for that um, silver eyeshadow and get it used up because it is just gross and beat up and the lid's all cracked. I don't know if you could see that, but oh, you, maybe you can. But the lid's cracked and it also, it's, I bought it on a clearance, so it's kind of one of those you need to use it now kind of things. Um, two more eye vases, which I thought could go with the first palette, are my two um, CoverGirl eye slicks and one's in uh, Pacific, and it is a nice lavender color. And the other one is in Luminous Pink, which is obviously pink. Um, I got these at the Dollar Tree, so I believe they are a discontinued product, uh, but they are also um, one of the brands that tests on animals, so I figured, hey, they go with this other palette, um, I can use them up with that, and then they'll be gone and out of my collection. Um, but I have not used them at all, so they're still full-sized. So I'm going to try my best to use those with that, and we'll see how we go. Um, then I've got um, two eyeliners, and first one I have used a little bit, and it is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer, and it is in Starlit Black, and it is one of these automatic ones. It's got a smudgy thing on the bottom. And it is, as it suggests, a glittery black eyeliner. Um, I can wear this in, and I've used it a little bit, but there's still a lot of it left. Like, a lot, a lot. Oopsie. But this works well enough in my waterline. I mean, the glitter, the glitter isn't too um, irritating, so I can use it up that way. Um... And this other one is an NYC waterproof eyeliner pencil in teal. And I've not used this one very much either, but it is a beautiful green color. And it's just a shimmery green. Um, I do like it. I mean, I liked it when I bought it, but now that I'm going cruelty free, it needs to go. Okay, and then one bonus product is I have a lip liner here that I want to use up. And there's not a whole lot of this left either. I mean, I'll continue using it. And this will probably be one of the first things that I use up. But I've been using it with my Avon lipsticks, and I figured 
then that's how I like to use it is with my Avon lipsticks. So I figured I might as well throw it in here because it'll get used up along with them. So that will not be a big problem. So that's those are the 10 things that I want to use up by the end of the year. Um, now this other thing I keep talking about is something I've only recently found. Um, I believe Heather Warren started it. I'm going to take another sip of my tea. Um, Heather Warren um, coined it um, because her sister had a gaming channel and that gave her the inspiration to create Project Pan Roulette. And since then, um, Lena7, I cannot remember all the numbers at the end of her name, Lena has started it, um, Lauren May Beauty has started it, and then there's one other YouTuber now that I've seen um, start it, and there'll probably be many more by the time this video goes up. But it sounded uh, like a really neat um, way to use up some products from your collection that you wouldn't normally gravitate for towards. Um, the basic idea, and I'll grab my jar back here, is that you set some rules or limitations for yourself and you write them all down on these little pieces of paper and mine's in a great big jar because that's what I had to hand <laughs> um, but it's stuff like um, an, eye sh an eye product in a color you wouldn't normally wear or your favorite eyeshadow color or a perfume or a skincare product or just random things like that and basically you draw out these um, limitations and you go find a product to put in your project pan that matches what the limitations are. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to draw out 10 slips and then I will uh, break the video and go find all these products and then come back and show you what I'll be using for the year. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and try not to spill my tea in the process but I'm going to close it up for a minute and just shake it all about because I want this to be, you know, I, want, I don't want anybody to think I put the ones that I want on top, so I've shaken it up and we'll just go ahead and draw one out. What does this one say? I've got too many things in my lap. I've got my tea in my lap. Maybe I can set that there and it won't spill on me. Nope. Yeah. There, that works. I'll set up on my foot. Oh goodness. Okay, something blue. Okay, so I have to find a makeup product in a blue color to use. All right. A product you have the most of. And I don't remember what I was thinking when I wrote this one. Oh, I think I do remember now. Um, when I did my makeup inventory, like the majority of my eyeshadow palettes were wet and wild. Uh, so it's going to be something like that, I think. Okay. All right, that's interesting. What does this one say? Lucky dip. Okay, now what this one means is that I have a basket of... Um, makeup sitting on top of my um, makeup storage and it's basically full of makeup that is um, I'm not cruelty free so what lucky dip means is I get to dip my hand in and grab a product and that's the product that I have to use so that'll be interesting as well because that's not even something I can get a chance to choose on okay that was three so this is four okay this might not be so bad this is a product you DIY'd. Okay, so this could be something like that I depotted that um, I've turned several shadows into like cream products by mixing them with Vaseline. Um, I've depotted um, some foundations and mixed them with a tinted moisturizer because they were too dark. So it's going to be something along that lines. Okay, something green. So this is going to be a product in a green color. And all these, these something colors were the ones that I put in last. And you saw me shake it up. So this is kind of weird that I'm getting all these products. Maybe I need to shake it up again. 
Okay, well, let's try this again. Uh, that was five, so I got five more to go. <laughs> All right. Something yellow or gold. Well, I'm getting a lot of color products out of the way. Okay, this is a little better. A product in your favorite color. Okay, that's not so bad. Yep, I'm just digging. <laughs> Again with the colors. Something red. I'm guessing that might be a lipstick. I do have, I've got like one, no, two red shadows, I think. So, I don't know. We'll find out. I'll have to go have a look. Oh, I got two here. Well, I guess we're doing these two then. Okay, this is a little easier. Ah! A half-finished product. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a makeup product. It could be a skincare product, a hair care product. It doesn't specify. And this other one is a lip product in a least favorite color. And I'm, that's probably going to be brown, I would think. Um, anyway, those are ten products. Um, I'm going to just have this um, Project Pan Roulette um, carry on throughout the year. So as I use up one, I'll be drawing out of the jar again to pick another product. And I'm just going to keep carrying on and on until the end of the year. Um, but that's how that's going to go. Um, um, I'm not going to set January goals just yet. I'm going to go find out um, about these products here that I've just drawn. These guys <laughs> that I've just drawn. And then I'll maybe set some goals. Um, so I'm going to go do that, and I will be back and show you the products, and then we'll set my um, January goals, and that should be the end of this video, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so I've gone and selected my products. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to work. So, um, I guess I'll just start pulling out my, um, my little slippies here, and I'll tell you what I picked for each of them and oh goodness I'm some of these I, I'm not entirely sure I'll finish uh, um, I'll show you why in a minute but the point of this is more so to um, just be using these products um, with some of them um, I'll start with the something red because I've actually got it um, swatched <laughs> here on my hand and it is a lipstick, as I predicted it would be. Um, it is the Deandra Super Moist Hydrating Lipstick in the color Brilliant Scarlet. And yeah, uh, I swatched it badly. I was swatching it for myself, but it is red. So that's another lipstick I get to play with. Um, a half finish product. And uh, now the half finish product I chose was an eyeshadow and it is this one it is a Technic eyeshadow and I picked it because I thought it might go along nicely with this eyeshadow quadge um, um, because this is all, all sort of pinky purples and this is a very light pink so I figured it could either it would match fairly well with this one anyway that's that's my half finished product okay something yellow gold. Um, I chose something rather ambitious, um, but it's something I can use. And it is the Maybelline 24 Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo by iStudio Gel Cream Eyeshadow in the color Eternal Gold. And it's, it's a very light gold color, so I figure I can use it as an all-over eyeshadow base with, with my eyeshadows that I've picked. <laughs> since there are going to be quite a few eyeshadows in this one, unfortunately. Um, 
something green, and this is another Technic eyeshadow. If I can get hold of it and show you something green. As you can see, it is very much a green eyeshadow. Um, I chose this eyeshadow in particular um, because um, Manny MUA did a um, get ready with me slash tutorial video using a color similar to this and I've been wanting to try it out and so this will give me the excuse to try it out and wear it even. So I thought that's what I was thinking when I chose that one anyway. Lucky dip. Okay, this is the one where I just dipped my hand into that makeup basket I was telling you about. <laughs> this is why I say I'm not sure I'm going to finish all of these products. Because I picked a Rimmel London Match Perfection blush that I have not touched. And it is in the color medium. <laughs> and it's just like that. Uh, goodness. <laughs> anyway, it, it's a very kind of natural looking blush so I've got no problems wearing it it's just when have you ever seen someone finish a blush in a year <laughs> okay a product you have the most of now I did mention my makeup inventory when I said this and I went and looked over it and the one thing that did stand out for me is my Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. So I chose one of the limited edition palettes from earlier um, last year, and it is in um, Demuse and Carews. And I figure, and I don't know how much of this I'll actually use. Um, the brow bone color, I'm sure I could make use of, and maybe the crease color. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do with the with the light blue down here. Um, but I'll do my best to make use of this as when it, as when I can. So, but that's it. It's I have opened it. I have swatched it. I just haven't used it very much. And this is a cruelty-free product, so I'm not going to be upset if I don't end up using this. But there, that's what that looks like. Oh. I'm actually kind of excited to get started on this. Um, a product you DIY'd. And I think I mentioned that I did mix up some of my tinted moist, um, my foundations with a facial moisturizer because they weren't the correct shade for me. And that's kind of what happened with this one. But it's just this kind of a tinted moisturizer now. So I'm going to try and use, try and use that up. That shouldn't be an issue either. Unless it, um, the only thing with these is that they tend to clog my pores, so I might have to take a break from this occasionally and wear something else, or just give myself a makeup-free day, but that's the only um, stipulation with this. So it might go a little bit slower than I want it to, but I'll be able to use it. Um, a product in your favorite color. Now my favorite color is purple, so obviously we've got another eyeshadow again. And I have hit pan on this eyeshadow before. So this is just another purple eyeshadow. Um, this was from a palette that didn't have any names or anything on it. So I'm not sure where this was from. But it's a purple. And again, I can use it with the Arabella Stewart palette because that's full of purple eyeshadows too. So I'm just going to rearrange my shadows here real quick. So I got them all. All the ones I'm supposed to be using in the same corner. And the last product I have is something blue. Now, interestingly enough, this is not an eyeshadow. I've missed one. Where have I missed one? Oh, it's still in the bucket. <laughs> okay. And this is the MUA Makeup Academy Intense Color Eyeliner in Royal Blue. And it is a just a blue eyeliner pencil. And I figure pop a color on the bottom lash line or just use it as an eyeliner and top it with one of my other eyeshadows that I've got going on here um, just gonna try and use it you know so there's that and the last product I have is a lip product in your least favorite color and I believe I said that was brown and so I've got a brown lipstick here this is a old Alme lipstick I think it's just shade 12, maybe. 
Yeah, but it's brown. It's been it's been used a little bit. It's just a brown lipstick. Not my favorite, obviously, for certain reasons. Um, I used to think browns look really good on me, but then I discovered um, a, a range of nude pinks that I really liked, and so now this just isn't a favorite anymore. So there's that. Okay, so <laughs> I'll put these back in my little bucket here. <sighs> some goals for January. Okay. Well, I expect to make some progress on this because this will be my foundation now. Or my tinted moisturizer slash foundation thing. So I plan on making some progress with this. Um, I won't be using it, but I'll, I won't finish it up in January because I don't wear makeup that often. But I will be using it. Um, um, same thing with this. I'll be using it, but there probably won't be very little progress seen with it just because it is a massive blush. <laughs> okay, as for my lipsticks, since I've got five lipsticks, including these two, um, I don't know that there'll be a lot of progress in January, and I'm not even sure which one I'm going to use this month, or even if I'll pick one. Um, actually, where's that? This one, Coco Poco. This, um, this one. I expect to see some progress with this one, and I expect this one to be the first one to go, because, um, I can wear this to, um, I can wear this at work and not have an issue with it. So, I expect this to be the first lipstick to go, though I don't expect it to go in January. Though I do expect there to be quite a bit of progress with it. Um, let's see. Um, I'll be using my eyeliners. Might see some progress there, um, but I don't expect to finish those. Um, same thing with this. Expect there to be maybe a little progress, or maybe I just won't be using this until some of my other stuff is gone. Um, I do plan on using the brow bone color as my brow bone highlight, if that works out. Um, usually I like things that are a little more um, skin tone, but I'll see if I can make this one work. So I've got that. Um, as far as the eyeshadows are concerned, um, I would like both of these purple eyeshadows. Um, maybe this one be gone, or almost gone, and then maybe a lot more pan in this one, because there is quite a lot of product up around the sides. The middle is just kind of thin. So maybe some, some progress with those guys. Um, the green shadow, maybe not so much. Um, I'm guessing that that one's going to be more of a um, fall thing, but we'll see. We'll see how well all the rest of these eyeshadows go. Okay. Um, eye bases? Eye bases, it's really going to be hard to say. Because I've now got four of them. Um, this will probably be more of an everyday kind of thing. Um, just swipe it on and go to work kind of thing. Maybe with these kind of these three as well. Um, honestly, I'd like to use this one up first. Um, but we'll see. It's hearing strange noises downstairs. Um, honestly, I don't expect to see a whole lot of progress this first month. Um, I don't plan on finishing anything this first month. Um, maybe come February we'll see, like, some of the eyeshadows that I've already hit pan on. Maybe go or almost go by February. Um, like I said, January, I'm first getting started out. I don't expect to finish up much of anything. Um, at least, not right now. Um, but, yeah, that's that's this video. That's my plans for this year. Um, hopefully, I'll do well in January, and by February, I'll be finishing up a couple of things. That would be good. Um, and then I can draw some more stuff and be surprised at what I end up with. Um, but, yeah. This is, this is a nice start, I think. Um, I've got some things that will take the entire year to finish, and I've got some things that may only take a couple months to finish. So, it's, it's looking good. I'm excited. 
Um, I hope you're excited too. Um, I guess that's it. If you like this video, give us a like, um, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.